Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. It's Taro here from Sunland Caravans, and today we're going to have a look at a 21 foot 6 Phoenix. Now, this is a beautiful van, so I'm really excited to show you. Um, let's, let's start at the front. Okay, so this is pretty much our standard A frame, well, this is our standard A frame and our standard layout, but what we've done a little bit differently on this one is we've lifted the toolbox up here and put some timber storage underneath there. That's a really nice option. These guys have gone with Sunland's um, built push bike rack, so just um, enough room there for two push bikes. We've got an electric jockey leg, as per normal plus a manual jockey leg as well. And then in this case, we've actually got a DA45 and four, four and a half ton chain. So we can actually rate this van up to about 4.2 um, tons. But I think these guys are going to three and a half anyway. Standard toolbox, um, which has got your generator slide, your gas bottles and the additional storage. In this case, these guys are supplying their own, tool, um, their own barbecue. So we've just fitted the tray and we've yet to fit the barbecue, but a nice big tunnel boot as you can see there. Exterior lights, so in this case we've got our LED lights, but these LED lights switch between yellow and white. Um, the yellow obviously is a bug deterrent or doesn't attract the bugs, so it's handy when you're out there camping. This has become a very popular um, option of recent, is the 240 outlet down the front of the van. I guess this is so people can use their induction cooktops or other forms of cooking outside the van. Now, Airbag suspensions on this one. So this has got Cruise Master XT airbags. This is our controls here. Switch between manual and auto. And you'll see that display there. So basically I can manually adjust the height of the van using these two levers here, side to side. And then when I'm ready to tow the van again, I flick it to auto and it'll go back to its desired ride height and away we go. We've got marine, outdoor marine speakers. We've got a TV hatch here, which has got provision to put your TV, your TV bracket and put your TV on the wall there, your 240 power, your 12 volt power, and all your outlets, including your HDMI. You see aerial and antenna and all that sort of stuff. Got a second external table down the rear here. These, these features are standard on the, the Phoenix, okay? We've got a second external gas bayonet down the back here as well. So we've got one at the front for the barbecue, but if you want to run a barbecue down the back here, you can plug it into that, barbecue, into that um, plug there. Rear pole carrier, as, as normal with our, most of our vans, we make our own pole carriers and rear bumpers are made out of aluminium. They've got a plastic cap on there, perfect for sta storing um, sullage pipes or awning um, accessories and stuff like that. Even fishing rods will go in there. Rear hatch. So the rear hatch here, we've got a gas heater, which is standard fitment in this model, a Gerard instant gas only hot water system. We have two water tanks, 190 litres and a 60 litres tank, and they come with their own pumps, as you can see there. I don't know if you can see at the back there in the video, that's our red water diverter valve as well. On top of that, this van is actually fitted with disc brakes. So this is the, um, the hydraulics there for the disc brakes as well. So we give the option of the standard 12, 12 inch drum brakes um, with stability control, or you can option that out and have the disc, disc brakes, which is what these guys are going with. Two posts on the back here, or two rails on the back here, which are for your external garbage bags um, brackets, and then our battery compartment. So, We've got two batteries here, two 225 amp hour lithium batteries, which these two are here. Then we've got the brains. So the brains of this will have your built-in MPPT solar regulator and um, controller, as well as a DC to DC charger and the other bits and pieces we need to operate those batteries. And then we have our Vitron Multi Plus 3000 watt inverter and 240 charger built in. Now that's the standard. Some people will option that up, but I think that's enough for most people. Now, before we go into the van, I thought we might do something a little bit different today. Um, I often get asked, can you stand on the roof of our caravans? So let's have a look. Okay, so the answer is yes, you can stand on the roof of your caravan. Um, certainly strong enough to take my weight. I'm about 84 kilos um, and probably somebody a bit heavier than me too, actually. Um, but there's not a lot of room. So this being a Phoenix, we've got four solar panels, as I'm sure you can see. We've got a satellite dish. We've got a Jensen hatch there. We've got a fantastic hatch here. We've got air conditioning. We've got a four season hatch. I've got a a, a wine garden antenna plus Sunland's um, dust extraction unit as well, oh, pressurization system as well. So there isn't a lot of room to move over here. Whilst I can stand on the roof, I certainly can't stand on any of these components because you would certainly damage them. Um, I know a lot of people fit ladders to the van so they can climb up on the roof to so clean the solar panels, but personally, I think I'd rather see people using a portable ladder and putting that ladder up against the side of the caravan, not climbing on the roof as such and cleaning the van from 
um, from the sides. Um, but yeah, certainly can move around there, and there is plenty of room, um, plenty of strength up here. It's just the room is, that becomes the big issue. Um, so I hope that answers anyone's questions. I'll try and get some footage while we're up here of this, the roof here. It has rained overnight, so this fan is a little bit grubby up here, which isn't ideal, but it's nice and sunny now, so let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, this van's got four solar panels. What we do with our solar panels, we actually lift them up off the roof of the van. So you can see that we use these aluminium angle brackets here. The reason we lift them up is it keeps the panels cooler and they work more efficiently. It also has a double um, use. It creates a more insulation for the roof of the caravan itself. And I don't know if you can see the one over the other side there, but we've actually gone over the top of the fridge vent there as well. Now, depending on the layout of of the van and how many panels and, and stuff like that. Sometimes we will put these over the top of hatches as well, um, which will then protect the hatches from sun damage and stuff like that as well. Okay, so now we're inside the van. I thought I'd point out some nice new features. This has got a lot of the 2023 um, cabinetry um, features in this van. So this one is the 2023 uh, bed end or row bend. So what we've got here is we've got our two single large doors there with the overhead storage. And we've got our two flush mount robe doors in here we've got a shelf plus some hanging space as well and then we've got these open cavities on the side here which a lot, a lot of people love um, which you can use for CPAP machines or charging your devices or whatnot and we can have 12 volt and 240 power points built inside those robes if you like underneath them here we have our drawer which is a nice long drawer there as well now one of the other things that changed for the 2023 spec was the height of the bed so this this bed has been lifted a tad and when I say tad probably about 50 millimeters over our previous um, bed height uh, but that's all to do with e trying to extract as much space as we can out of the tunnel boot so it's just giving you additional space I'll actually lift up the bed so you can have a look underneath this one as well obviously all our beds are on gas struts with aluminium frame and timber slats adjustable slats here for comfort this mattress themselves are an inner spring mattress with a pillow top you'll see we've got two wire baskets that wire basket drawers that slide out to the side they're perfect for shoes what I like about them being located there is you can be standing at the step outside the van and still reach in and have access to that. So perfect for your thongs and your sandals or whatnot. You'll see there's two cushions in, in, in this one here. This dinette here is designed to be turned into a large bed. So that's why we've got, they've been stored underneath there. Now, this is a 21 foot six fan. Normally in a 21 foot six fan, you'd have this cafe dinette like this, and then you'd have a floor to ceiling pantry and then the fridge. These guys are foregoing the, um, the pantry, the floor to ceiling pantry to make this dinette a little bit wider. That th there would be pretty much a full length bed when you make it up. And we might actually make it up and put that at the end of the video, actually, we might do that. The kitchen side here, so this is the 2023 kitchen um, galley, kitchen galley. We've got our flush mount cabinetry here. I love the color scheme these guys have gone with. As per usual, they've gone with a nice graphite with a flush finish. We've got three drawers, we've got a pantry, which is a timber pantry. Nice deep drawers in them. Gone with a standard oven. So we're not seeing too many standard ovens at the moment, but I still like these. They're a gas, um, fan force gas oven, a gas grill, and then three gas burners and one electric hot plate as well. Sort of covers you for all, all bases. Underneath the sink here now, so actually the sink. So the stainless steel sink, this is the larger of the two sinks that we make available to our customers. They're gone with the, with the nice big one here. They're foregoing the Evo stone bench top and I guess that's probably to do with a little bit of weight. Um, and they've just gone, gone with that stainless steel one, no draining board, but I don't think you actually really need one anyway, personally. Underneath here, we have got plenty of room here as well. So nice big area there, plus another little drawer underneath there for your, your bits and pieces. And then on this side, we've got one big drawer there. We've got two rubbish bins, two plastic tubs that you can use as rubbish, rubbish bins. And then we've got this bank here. So here we've got, normally these would be timber slide out pantries, but these guys have gone with shelves. So we've got three shelves there and another three shelves there. It's a huge pantry. There's certainly no lack of storage in this van. Now I've just noticed they've also gone with the black tapware, which is a really nice finish there. Um, let's have a look in the bathroom. Okay, it's always really hard to film the bathroom because we need two people in, the, in here. It's really only designed for one person, but hopefully you get a bit of an idea of the space. It is quite big. We've got our recess 
tail rails here, two rails there. These guys have gone with an optional um, cut out down the, the bottom there to store whatever they like to store underneath there. Up the top here, we, I often don't talk about this, but up here we've got our breaker switches. So we've got our 240 breaker switch, our inverter changeover switch, and a solar um, isolator switch, as well as our hot water system control. So up here, you basically got a digital display, you dial in the temperature you want, um, press the button, and the way you go when you turn the tap on, the water will heat. Got a fan above my head there. Got another robe here, another or linen press, that's probably what this one would be used for here, with four shelves. Overhead camp cabinetry. Power points, we've got power points just about anywhere you can think of. So double GPO power points here, one either side, end of the bench, kitchen bench, at the table, either side of the bed, so pretty much everywhere you could possibly want them. Our fiberglass um, vanity unit, again, black tapware, which is really nice. We've got three smaller drawers here, and, th and then we've got our washing machine. In this case, it's a 3.3 kilo top load washing machine. That is the standard washing machine for the van. And then, of course, we've got our full fiberglass shower, which Michael, my cameraman, standing in right now, so we can't show you, but he'll do a bit of a film after this and point out some of the other differences. Okay, so that's the 21 foot six Phoenix. I'll put um, the color um, choices these guys have gone with at the end of the video, as well as the, wear, the weights and tear weights and uh, ATM and whatnot. If you want any more information on this van or any of the Sunland products, you can visit www.sunlandcaravans.com.au or you can give myself, Taro, a call or Michael in our sales department. Um, have a great day. I'm going out back, out back Australia. Hey back. So tell your friends this place that you have found And tell the world it's better than it sounds Say so come and see our country's best by far You'll find me there, Where? out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia I'm going out back, out back Australia Where friends they will shake your hand Say good day. They'll wave as you're passing through. They'll help in every way. But most of all, they'll welcome you. And one day you will say, I'm going out back, out back Australia. 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 See you there.